Cybertruck represents a huge shift in Tesla's direction because for the longest time the goal has been make electric cars sexy and good looking and basically really really perform great on the track which Cybertruck will still be capable of but it's definitely leaning more towards the outdoorsy get in the dirt get muddy drive straight through water type of market which is why I think a lot of people are excited for this thing because I think it's going to be kind of the ultimate outdoor adventure not just camping but also off-roading vehicle between if you look at things like Tesla's track mode version 2 where they can kind of analyze how you're losing traction on certain wheels when you want to drift and they're able to move the wheels at different speed and apply different torque in different situations like if you're driving through the snow or driving in icy situations the car can do certain things to make sure that the vehicle does not lose control unless of course you're on track mode and you want to lose control applied that to a vehicle with a really really high riding height will make it perfect for driving off road but also for those apocalyptic adventures out there it'll be really really nice that solar is supposedly going to be an option for the Cybertruck I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be a feature that comes later or if that feature is going to be an add-on at launch I'm sure it will not come standard that would probably cost way too much but a lot of people forget about this one of the first things Elon tweeted about when the Cybertruck came out was that that little garage door mechanism on the back of the vehicle that can keep things inside the bed dry will have an optional solar option and Elon says that could potentially get around 50 miles of range if you park the truck in the sun and they hope to make some type of accessory that could involve unfolding solar wings from the side of the truck obviously I think you would use that when it's parked I think it'd be kind of crazy to try to use those things while you're driving but it's a very very ambitious idea I don't even necessarily think we should expect Tesla to actually come out with that it would not shock me if that ended up just being one of those tweets that never gets followed up on but I like hearing those ambitious goals because it means that hopefully we can get something that's slightly resembles that so even if solar comes out and you can only get you know 15 miles of range a day that's still a lot better than you can get with any Tesla currently because those have to be near the outlet so if you're able to drive this thing out in the middle of the desert and essentially as long as you have sunlight you'll be able to keep driving you can drive out in the middle of nowhere charge up for a day camp at a location you know enjoy your campfire enjoy being away from people let the vehicles charge up and then keep driving the next day there's gonna be whole new utility with this car that we've never seen before when it comes to off-road camping trucks and stuff like that. So this is all partially possible thanks to the fact that Tesla's never really made a pickup before, so you have a lot of practicality with having an EV that you can charge from home, but none of them were really that rugged. None of them were really built this heavy duty like the Cybertruck was, which is why I'm kind of very glad they didn't try to make a truck that looked really pretty and looked very modern, like a lot of concepts were expecting it to basically just be a Model X with a bed in the back. That thing would not have been great for off-roading that thing would not have been great for heavy duty work that thing would have dented and paint would have scratched and when you're driving off-road and driving through the woods easy branches and sticks can scratch that paint off so simply when you're driving vehicles off paved roads so when you're driving around in a silent which I think a lot of people who go hunting will appreciate about the Cybertruck it doesn't have to make any noise you don't have an ignition process which means that you can enjoy things like the air conditioning and watch YouTube on the inside of this vehicle while you're parked inside and you don't have to worry about you know making sure the engine's running because there is none with that exoskeleton that's not going to get scuffed up and scratched from trees and branches and rocks and mud that the wheels are going to be kicking up all of the time which makes it honestly kind of very desirable by people that do not buy Teslas currently you know I see a lot of people online say I have a truck or I have an off-road vehicle of some kind but then when I want to go to work or when I want to drive on the highway and stuff I have a Model 3 but the Cybertruck is actually going to be able to replace both because you can get the luxurious EV benefits and still have that rugged exoskeleton design that allows you to take it off-roading and go through the dunes as Elon says this thing is supposed to kick butt in Baja. So the reason I'm able to make so many videos on this vehicle and you guys seem to really enjoy me talking about them is the Cybertruck applies to so many different markets of people. The only market it doesn't really apply to are people that think the design looks weird which is shrinking by the day because I'm also seeing a comment that becomes more and more common which is I was repulsed by it. I was disgusted by it when it first came out but the more I look at it the more it becomes normal and now I'm a reservation holder I've seen so many people go through that exact same line of thought that I'm sure it's going to change even more once the vehicles start delivering and the exciting part about that Cybertruck timeline is that it won't be terribly long that it remains just a concept because Elon has said that the Cybertruck has essentially become top priority for the next vehicle to come out from Tesla so yeah the Tesla semi has been delayed makes sense because there's a lot 
lot of batteries that thing requires. They probably want to wait until their new battery technology that gets announced at Battery Investor Day is out, then start mass producing it for the semi truck. But again, that'll be a huge battery production bottleneck. He's also referred to the Tesla Roadster as dessert. So that is a really, really high performance, really fun vehicle, but very low volume. So it's not top priority. Cybertruck, however, I'm not over exaggerating when I say this is the most heavily demanded electric vehicle, potentially vehicle of all time. There's so many boxes this checks for people. If you care about the environment, check. You can finally drive a giant big pickup and not have to feel guilty about the emissions on the planet. You also have the cost factor of this thing reportedly going to start around $40,000 once the standard range is available, which is very reasonable for a truck of this capability. You have the exoskeleton benefits, so you don't have to worry about it rusting in the colder climates where there's lots of salt on the roads. Also supports longevity, means you don't have to worry about paint jobs and ceramic coatings to make sure that your paint stays up to date. Or like I brought up in today's video, the off-roading capabilities. You don't have to worry about things scratching it and damaging it over time. And you also got the performance factor that so many people care about as well. The tri-motor Cybertruck being able to outperform a lot of Porsches on the road today. And this is a pickup truck a pickup outperforming sports cars. That's why Kimball and Elon both alluded to the Cybertruck being their best product ever, just because it makes so much sense for so many different markets. So I think the hype behind the Cybertruck is really, really justified. Even if they can't deliver on every single specification they promise, it's still going to be insane once it starts delivering. And the community that has been built around it is astounding. It's incredible to see so many people showcase their mods and the things they want to bring to it. And knowing that Tesla sees this demand and wants to act on it and wants to make sure that they prioritize this over future vehicle products and start delivering it as soon as possible. Gives me hope that we can get a Gigafactory location for the Cybertruck soon. Again, probably Texas, but also that they're going to be able to meet their deadlines for the Cybertruck and start deliveries before the end of next year. But I'm not an off-roader myself. I personally think that the lower center of gravity of having the battery pack in the floor is probably going to be great for off-roading, but if there's anything you guys disagree with or things you think I'm missing about the off-road capabilities, feel free to hit me up over on Twitter, join my Discord. I love learning more from you guys. I find out stuff that I didn't know every day. So thank you all for watching and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.